of your rebuttals really take accountability away from women. At the end of the day, like, and this is why, you know, arranged marriages were a thing for so long. Women suck at picking their partners. They really do. Yeah. Um, all of you guys are <laughs> almost in your 30s and single. We go back 50, 70 years, 80 years. Most women your age would be married and have a couple kids by now. So what does that effectively tell me? That tells women me you guys. Women are putting up with less now because we have. Hold on. You, you, it, that's fine. Yeah. But what I'm, what I'm trying to say is that mm. women now, right, have basically. It's, it's crazy to me because you guys right, are so selective now and you want the best guy. And you're like, We're, we don't need to tolerate X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. And then you meet that guy, right? Because he's exceptional. He's attractive because you want the best. And then you get mad when he fucks another bitch. It's cra like you, you got to figure it out. Like, but, what are you going to like? You take accountability from yourselves every single time. Can I ask you a question? It's like at the end of the day, you pick the man, right? Yeah, but I cannot. It, I, th okay, listen, this is what I said in the beginning. In the, what I said was. There are cases where men, women do pick trashy men. We've, we've, yeah, we've so done it. So, but so who's fault is that then? So yeah, who's fault is that? It's the women's fault. Fine. Okay, but so then why are, do you keep making but, excuses but, no, for no, why, no, no, no. I, why they look, get bad behavior after when they look, pick shitty okay, men? Okay, in, in that scenario, yes, the woman has to take accountability. You've picked a bad man. You've picked a gun shooter. You've been a you you picked a road man. You've picked a drug dealer just for the aesthetic. If you then get pregnant by him and he and he gets arrested, that's on you. But there are cases where women get with men with good intentions in the beginning and men change. So, you know, you can't blame a woman for, well, the you know, a, a how, about, how about they never changed there with that man the whole time and you just didn't and realize the it? And this is why. Well, the, the magic why, term is deception. Because yeah, you guys can't handle, can handle, can handle the truth. Because you guys can't handle the truth. Because women can't handle the truth. Because women can't handle the truth. And we talked about how that earlier. How can we handle the truth if someone's not telling it? Because that's that means, why they lie. Yeah. So how? So Most women can't handle cheating. Most women can't handle what men really think and what we really want, so guys lie to women. That's what it is. I don't think men could handle. Yeah, so whose fault is that? That's the man's yeah, fault for I lying. I think it's that way as well. No, it, well, they could never. It, well, and also, can I tell you something? Holy shit! Uh, uh, hold, hold on, hold on. on. Just to, just to finish the thing here, I just noticed that every rebuttal you made to her that she when she tells you an objective fact, you say, "Well, how about this and that?" And it's all at the end of the day, women are the ones making their choices. So it's it's one of the two. It's mm. either you but guys men have want. A choice hold as on. Well. Uh, yeah, exactly. but women are the ones picking. So. Kind you have a choice to make. It's me, either A, women are bumbling retards that don't deserve rights and shouldn't be able to pick their partners and men step in and do it like before and arrange marriages, or you guys can go ahead and continue to pick your partners and then stay single into your 30s like we have now. But I swear it's the man that picks who the he men, marries. Yeah, men well. are gatekeepers of relationships. Yeah. Women are gatekeepers of sex. They pick their yeah, women as well. You, but <laughs> you, <laughs> but you, <laughs> he, has so to, he has to have someone to commit to, so you have to pick him from... Like, you have from to pick each other. other. It's, it's a two-way street. Why, what comes why is first? it just why, the woman? It's comes, your job to attract them. No, he's attracted to you, really. No, what comes first in general in 2024? Sex or relationships? Depends sex. on who you're asking. Okay, so who picks who gets to have sex? Men and women. No, it's the it's the men that women select. Yep. In, so so women are the on. initial gatekeepers, right? So that's yeah. That's what so they're, yeah, they're 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 gatekeepers. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the guy's not going to get into a relationship unless women. he's been sexually selected by, by yeah. women, and women are the ones. Who and this actually sexually. proves my point earlier, which she alluded to, because she was saying, like, just be honest and give, and I'll give mm. you sex if you say what it is. And then I asked, okay, when she gave an example, and I said, repeat that sentence. And then she said, oh, I've known this guy for a while. And women tend to always disqualify all the work men have to put in to attract them. Oh, I wasn't like that. Do you, do you How long did he know you? Uh, we had been cool for at least like what a year or so. Okay, so and we like, spent we, a year. We, we, no, but we didn't spend like a year like c like together or spending time like that. No, it's like we had spent time with each other briefly, and then life we didn't we didn't see yeah. each other. And then before you know it, when we reconnected, it was like okay, cool. But we just laid out on the table like, look, I ain't looking for anything because I just got out of this. Okay, do you see what I'm saying? What, what, what did then, he do when he was gone th during that time? I don't know. I don't give a fuck what he did. Well, I was living. My well, life. you clearly did because you, you you hooked up with him, so he had to have told you what he was doing. You have to have probably been yeah, curious. Yeah, but that's like I'm not gonna say his business. You see what I'm saying? We okay. were friends. We had. Would it be fair to say he leveled up? What do you mean? He leveled up. He was probably more attractive when he came back the second time. He became the first better. Time. Oh, that, that guy has always been attractive. <laughs> okay. So he did. Okay. So if he's but always like, been. He's gorgeous. Okay. So if he's everything. always been attractive, he probably did something to level up in that time period. But what I'm trying to say is that, like, girls tend to look at the finish line. They don't look at the entire race. The man had to put in work to some degree to be able to get the sex 
from you that frankly. But when I asked you, oh, I'm going to just proposition you for sex no, but right I'm away. Not, you like, say you no. think we really just easy. wake up like Some this? Some guys are really easy. You can just be like, yeah, look, pull up then. And before you know it, my man's pulled up. How often does that happen, though? I mean, how I attractive does a man have to be to be able to get sex on command like that? Hmm? He has to have sauce. Holy. He's got to be attractive. He has to have what? Sauce. Okay. Sauce. So, okay. So, it's not easy then. Yeah, the same way that it's not easy for just any girl to get sex as well, you know? Well, it kind of is. Wait, 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 wait. Because it's girls don't just step out looking like anything. They also put in a do lot of effort. Do you realize that you can go outside? Hold on, hold on, stop, man. This is what I'm trying That's to say. Never Girl, to you, me, know, you guys don't live in reality. You can step outside right now and go, ah! and a dude will still have sex with you. I don't know. I've never done that. No, no, but you I could. Agree. Go try I agree it. Go try it. Because I know somebody. Right can I just right say something? I agree. Fresh. The street <laughs> experiment. Like, I agree with you, that. Fresh. You being able to get sex <laughs> and a man being able to get sex don't even come close. Like, it's not the same. And, and the, the, again, it's hard for men to get sex. So it's like when girls say this, like, oh, just be honest. If I tell you I just want to fuck and don't want to give you a relationship, 99% of the time, I'm not going to get it. And then you, even in your example, well, we kind of had an understanding and, you know, we just fucked. But he had to know you for a year and but, be but, extremely but, but, attractive but, but, to pull it off. That's but a that's minority of men. But were, you hooking, were you hooking up at the beginning as well, though, in that first, when you first met each other? Were you, were you hooking no, up? No, actually. No, you, you we, just, we, just just spent time, we just, we just, we just spent just time friends. together. And then before you know that's it, putting like, in work. Well, no, no. It's putting in work. But the, the maddest thing is, like, I know a man that puts in work and I know a guy that doesn't. And we didn't really have to put in work like that. But he was—he was, he was, he was hot though. He was attractive. Of right? course, he was hot. So, so, yeah. so he had to re he had to reach a certain baseline. Like but then it like life just got in the way. Um, yeah. Distance. I think at some point I even left London. And then came Why are you guys you upset that women want charm you know, from then, a man? And then, yeah, we just like, what? A conversation just like, you know, it just popped up. And then before you know, it's like, you know what? Yeah, pull up. And then it was just like that. Just pull up then. Yeah. And then boom, it happened. And then that's when we was like, okay, cool. But I'm yeah, but if you said, come over and we're going to you know. fuck right now, you wouldn't went over there. No, but I've done that to a guy before. I'd be like, look, pull up. This oh is what it is. And then God, he came bro. Like, you, a man you, that says that is a bit no, like. Yeah, no, 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 Women live life on easy mode when it comes to dating so much you that you guys are, are completely unaware of how it, like, you guys live life on such an easy mode that you guys are completely unaware of all the work that men have to put in what to be able to get laid. We have to put in way more work than you guys. Way more. What, like in a photo, sliding in the DM. <laughs> well, no, no, but they, no. But they did that, they did that college study. Crumbs, no. Crumbs. No. A little no. conversation Fresh here and then men go out to eat or whatever. Hold on, hold on, that, that, hold on. Do you find most men attractive? No, not really. Do you find most men attractive? No, no. Do you find most men not attractive? Most men, no. Okay, you. <laughs> you. No. You. I only find myself attractive. Fantastic. No. <laughs> what about no, you? No, I don't. Can I just say something? Okay, yes. so that I, proves my point, man. Like, do you find most women so it's, attractive? It's quite, it's hard, I think it's hard right Yeah, most here. women are average, which is fuckable. It's, it's, it's so hard hating right on me. Wait, it's hard no. right here for, it's hard right here for men because the, um, because guys have to look good. Right, because when you go out, like women, we can like some women can go out with no money, and they there'll be a guy at the bar and who who, who will buy them a drink. Yeah, but a man can't go out with no money and expect his him to get drinks from a girl, a woman that thinks he's good looking. So I know a lot of people, especially because I'm older. I know a lot of people like my age, the guys who are single. They're single. I've got one friend that he has been single for twenty years almost. I don't know if he's had links or anything, but as far as I know, he hasn't had a girlfriend. But this guy has a good job, lots of money in the bank, drives a car. He just doesn't have the look. Women don't look at him. Well, he has got the, he's not good well, looking. Yeah, no, good looking. I don't he's think not that's He's not good. But, he's yeah, not but us women can learn, learn to love. Us women can learn to love. But that's they, don't the they don't give him a chance. They don't, don't give him a look. They don't even look at him. They don't even give him a look. They don't even look at him. They're not interested. He's the guy that the women walk past. When I meet up with the girls and we see them in the group, what's his riz like? like? Has he got some? Has he got some riz? Has he got some good like? <laughs> got some good banter. Does he dress nice? Does it smell good? <laughs> no, there's ugly men with no, money and they've got girls. No, no. Yeah. When, so yeah. when they did that college they study, for it. there's it. ugly men. When, when with they, 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 they pay a lot of money. When they did that college study, where they got they got they got they got they got interviews to go out. They got they got they got male interview. They got male interviews to go to go out on a college campus and and say to women and say to a bunch of women. 
will you will you have I want to have sex with you will have sex with me right and then they got women women to go out and do the same thing and the number the percentage of women that said yes to the request 0% the percentage of men who said yes to the, to the request from women 75% so that's the problem, right? Because what he's saying Men is correct. Easy. So yeah, no, women, no, women have it on easy mode, right? Because all the women no, in here now. Because you guys that make it easy. No, no, but all the all the women in here now could mm, potentially go out. Y'all just pull up. But all you I could... gotta do is send a little meme. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, so that's, but that's the point. <laughs> pull up on it. But no, that's the point. That's the point. That's the problem in the dating marketplace, right? And this is why we've got this. You know, the, the rich are getting richer, the poor are getting poorer in terms of dating. And I don't just mean financially. It's just mm. the top guys are getting more of the action. The 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 guys who are perceived as lower are getting less of the action. And that's increasing. You know, and it's all down. It's driven by social media. It's driven by Instagram, the global dating yeah, marketplace, etc. Whatever. It, it's just like, and here's the thing, man. I don't expect them to understand. But girls are never gonna like get it that like it's way harder for men to get attention for even attention from females. No, that's facts. No, we do get it. Oh, no, you guys deal with it rejection is... and things like that. We do we get, get that. that. Like, yeah, do, but do, you don't. You don't. But here's the thing: you don't understand. understand. Not only do you not. Okay, you understand. Not only that, but you don't even know when you meet an attractive guy, right? You don't even know all the work he had to put in to be that package that you're currently enjoying. So, for example, yeah. you go to a pizza spot, right? Your favorite pizza spot. You don't know that they had to get the cheese imported from Italy. You don't know that they had to get the dough at a certain temperature to make it taste a certain way. You don't know that they imported the sauce from a certain place to have a distinct taste. They had, you don't know that the oven that they got was thousands upon thousands of dollars to fry it just right, to cook it just right. You just enjoy the end product, but you don't know the process that it took to create that pizza. When you Some see an attractive bored. man, when you see an attractive man, that man has spent a lot of the times years if not decades to create that package that you're currently enjoying but you don't understand what goes into it because women don't have to build themselves up at all no. you guys just exist 18 years old invited on a fucking yacht but who paid for the yacht that Dude sounds did. like not something always. i just to said quote him you pay for yachts so it's you like pay for yachts? not not no okay <laughs> I, i've said never been always. on one with a man no but i'm saying like not like 99 of born, yachts are paid for by men you're born with the spouse <laughs> and all that shit or not <laughs> that, 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 i want to see no. the study <laughs> no most yeah, men actually are not do... born with the sauce they have to learn the sauce yeah, yeah. but men yes men they have to learn it there's some naturals but most guys have to learn yeah that's not a bad thing but men also have like status when they're around beautiful women, so it works. It's like a transactional thing. But they have to it's work. Like, they have even to work though they're to earn successful, the doesn't matter. No one cares. But he needs to walk in with a beautiful woman. Uh, but then you, people will really respect. Once again, him. perfect example of what I mean by just and looking at the finish line, not looking at the race. How do you acquire status? <laughs> That's what I mean when I say y'all are retarded sometimes. No offense. Like, with all due respect. No, no, no. I, but, like, I'm not women following. lack critical I'm not thinking. Like, women lack critical thinking skills. You guys just look at the end product. This pizza's good. Ugh. But you don't know what it took to make the good pizza. So, what do you think a woman does in her life up he until has, 18? You, like, you see a guy with 10 girls. He has status. That's awesome. But you don't know what it took for the man to acquire the status. What do you think yeah. a girl goes You said a girl at 18, she's she pretty, and she I gets just, invited on is, a yacht. Not is, every girl's pretty, you know, especially growing up. Do you, you know why? <laughs> Average <laughs> girls have more marketability than celebrity men. That's what you think. No, it's true. No, that's what you think. Because you know what? Let me tell you something. Okay? I'm it's just going to explain to you the difference between... Stop one second. Go on. Because you don't know what you're fucking talking about. I know what I'm fucking <laughs> talking about. <laughs> I'll tell you about. why. Because I'm there's, a woman and average, I know the work it takes no, for a woman no, to get to a stage no, where she can even be attractive no, to a man. No, don't, don't think that women don't, don't do anything. Because, they don't no, just no, wake don't up and roll out of bed, you know? They don't do shit. And not only that, we have more emotional than you guys do. We go to the gym. Stop. You're mad Stop. There's completely, way be quiet, hold on. There's completely average women that we know that have come on our fucking show and had sex with A-list celebrities yes, off of our show. Yes, because men's standards because are lower. They yeah. are but that easy. proves my point. They are okay. easy. They just want to get their dick Oh bit. my God, you're not refuting my point. That women, <laughs> average chicks, have access to exceptional men. Okay. However, average That's men sad. cannot attract exceptional women. Do you understand that? No, no. Okay, yeah. yeah. We understand but, that. That's fine. So therefore, Go hold on. on. So since average women are able to attract exceptional men, by That's definition, awesome. that means women live, have dating on easy mode. No. Because their no. burn of performance is lower. Look. look. This is what I mean. Y'all no, no, yeah, they have, they have, have women, 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 women
women's wait, wait, on easy wanna, mode. Bro, not dating. That's no. it. Serious we're relationships. We don't have, on easy mode. We don't dating have commitment on easy mode. Okay. No, no, no. Wait, hold on, we hold don't hold have stop, 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 on easy stop. mode. You're able. Yes. Hold on. This is what I'm trying to say. No, 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 no. And if and if you're not if you don't get wife, that's your fucking fault. Comes back to women not having accountability. You can at least get in the room with future. You can at least get in the room with Drake. You can at least get in the room with a fucking NBA player and show yourself there. I'm not getting a chance with Rihanna ever, no matter how much status I get. I'm not getting a chance. I have to build myself up to be in that room with those bad bitches. You guys don't. That's the difference. And you could be an average fucking girl. Yeah. I know average girls that have no future hanging out with future right fucking now. That's yeah. the difference. That so you cannot yeah, yeah, yeah. sit there and tell me that, oh, if women have a heart. No, you fucking don't, man. Okay. No, you don't. No, women, 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 have have it women, women have it easy in every facet of life. Not really. And the problem is we've had women's empowerment content telling us we've had it so hard. But the truth of the matter is we get into college easier. We get jobs easier. We can get into relationships easier. There's yeah, no yeah. part of life that Free is privilege. not easier for a woman. People are just nicer to us because we're women. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then we go out and we, we think we're so oppressed, but we're really not. That's not really like really like if you if you take a, a man's life in 2024 <laughs> and a woman's life in 2024 women objectively have it easier because like cause, and again you have the privilege of saying something ridiculous no offense with all due respect but it, i'm using this as an example to show how women lack critical thinking skills you have the privilege of saying oh just have some status and you'll have women Myra, <laughs> what does it take and it's and to get status it's because like, it's what? so much it's so much easier for women to get status than men it's so yeah. much easier you guys for are to born get with status yeah Myra, if you're attractive that? how many useless fucking yeah. bitches are on instagram right now the key word is no, if you are on, attractive oh, Thank it's not you. Hard, it's not hard to be attractive as it a female is actually. you can get right. surgery you can do filters and that's easy men can do that too you have access to money really you can risk your life for beauty Okay. That's dead. Hold on. If you really want to go up, you can. But you can be average, put filters on your shit, and be attractive. There's regular girls, bro, that get DMs from top tier guys. They have access to these men. And Myron, what was that take you retweeted? Myron, 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 what was that thing you retweeted? Earlier, when the, the guy did like eleven thousand swipes or something on dating, yeah, he got like, what did you get? Seventy dates in the like end, or something. Like seventeen dates, a uh, swipe the right, like uh, yeah, like eleven thousand times 11, or some shit. It comes average out guy, seventy dates, a average yeah. guy. And and the, only... and the, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, the, and the bar for women, like like he said, the reality is the bar for women to be considered attractive, and not hot, not super beautiful, whatever, but attractive enough is is significantly lower than it is for men, right? You know, a girl as long as she's kind of slim, she's kind of pretty, she's in the room. Right? She's Fine. in the room with Drake. You know, she could put what some it? makeup on. She could do a bit of, you know, whatever. She's mm. on the yacht with Drake. It's not actually that hard. That's you know? different what, from what marriage material, though. Well, yeah. that is, that is, that's, a, that's a different matter. But yeah. like, yes. like, like Myron said, but the, but the reality is at least you're, you're in the ballpark then. I get so it, yeah. then you've got the opportunity. You get to, the opportunity. Yeah. Like, like, Fair enough. It, and this is why I don't respect, like, when you guys sit here and say, oh, I want to do this or whatever. Like, women don't have to earn their value. Like, if you meet a top tier guy and he doesn't commit to you, you suck. Why can't we call women losers? Why can't we tell them you just suck? Like you're not attractive. Because if you go on a date with a guy, right? And you have good girlfriend traits. You're not annoying. You're not a fucking bimbo. You're not stupid as fuck. You're not fat. You're not crass. You're not obnoxious. You're not a, like all. None, like a guy will probably wife you, bro. So my thing is like, if you can't get wife, that's your fault as the woman. But at least you get the opportunity to meet the man. That's what I'm trying it to makes say. Y'all yeah. get to take the shot at least. We don't even get to take the shot unless we pay, pay to get the fucking basketball. Like, mm -hmm. like, I don't think women get that shit. You guys get the shot. We don't. We have to be exceptional to even get an opportunity. I feel sad for the kind of women, uh, for you, for the kind of men that you know you guys are because you surround yourself with a lot of race oh, girls. Wow. No, I have to okay, say. actually, because my I, my girls don't act no, like that. Okay. I have to no, say, and, the, and, girl, my, and my I've, I've and I must say, no, you've not met my girls. Actually, <laughs> you met people are, that are I chose you, to bring leaving? on your podcast. Are, are you actually, leaving? she's walking off. Okay, All right. you've not met my what friends, bro. I'll tell you that much. Mm, you know, just, you know yeah. people. You know some people that I know. Actually, I want to speak on this because. Yeah, hey, if you can, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can leave. I, hey, we just have a rule: we take your IG off. It's cool though. If you gotta leave, you gotta leave. I totally understand that. That's totally fine. You can go. You, you can go. You can go. Sorry. Right. That's okay. fine. All right. No, because that was that was something that I thought when I first came on the podcast was that you know not all women are like this, um, and I just kind of thought that Myron and Fresh were just interviewing Miami girls. Um, 
uh, until I moved to London across the pond and I got the same responses from women from Africa, from Italy, from literally all over the world um, that, that they get in Miami. Um, you know, women are women. We just have nature. What was that nature? Sorry. Being delusional. Yeah. Oh, okay. Being delusional. Same as men. Yeah. Like you're okay, literally, you're, you, you, you just tried to argue with me that a woman's dating life is uh, similar yeah. difficulty to a man's. And that's just like uh, not bro, true at all. I'll tell you why. You get the same response. Hold on, bro, bro, hold on a right, second. He, tell he me addressed how. me. Let right, me tell, tell you something. How. For example, okay. Me, I single, I'm stepping out. Me, I decide to be open-minded and give men opportunities to speak to them. And what I find, hey, Sorry, 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 my bad, my bad. Okay, and I'm telling you, for facts, in modern day, the same way you guys can complain about women is the same way we complain about men. For me, I find it to be, I actually find it very difficult to even speak to men, not just because of what I look like, it's also because of the fact that a lot of the time men will be thinking, okay, she thinks like, you know, she's comfortable, she's very much, you know, established in herself, and they tend to challenge me for no reason. They're not even nice to me. So me, I'm not going to lie to you. The same way you complain about women, I complain about men. Yeah, it will be easier for me if I want to have sex with a man, but it will be much harder for me to be able to respect a man to a point where I will say, yeah, I would marry you. Oh, yeah, I would give you the opportunity to even get close to me that way. Because a lot of men are letting themselves down in what it even means to be a basic man. So it's the guy's fault. No, I'm just saying. That I'm not saying it's the guy's fault. I'm talking from my perspective. The same no. way you guys can complain is the same way I complain. You guys find it difficult. I find it difficult. But you're not refusing any of his points. Yeah, I'm not saying all. that. I'm just adding my point. Okay. I also find it difficult. So a I don't useless think it's okay. points. Useless points. Well, for you, but it's well, my experience. Let's, so I can let's just be compare. objective here. Let's be objective here. Um, let, let's do a little bit of accountability. You're 31 years old. Yes. You're a fairly masculine woman. So you say. You are. Well, I don't you know. A lot are. of people tell me I'm not. They say that it's re it's dependent on the man. If you find me masculine, it's maybe you're not masculine enough. No, That's no, no, what no, they no, say, no, no. So I'm just you're saying. you're you're not agreeable, right? Not with you. You're just not agreeable, which is a masculine trait. You pursued higher education. You work in the professional world. You. Have... I, I'm a teacher, so that's a feminine prof a profession, really, in it. Are you a teacher? You said that you counsel yes. people. Yes. Behavior management. I work with children. I help them. Okay. Again, actually. you don't have children, right? And you don't have a man. No. Okay, so you're pursuing career. No, I'm not pursuing a career. I'm just living my life because I have bills to pay. Okay. Look, mm -hmm. whether you want to accept it or not, <laughs> right? And women get really Don't mad I when I say this. Pay? No, that's fine. Yeah. But the fact that you have bills to pay yes. means you have to step into your masculine yeah. to work, to not be agreeable. I'm not, not trying to shit us. on you. Yeah, no, that's fine. But working and pursuing higher education, et cetera, inevitably masculinizes you as a female. Well, I believe that for, for me, higher education gave me the opportunity to be around men of value. Let's go back to the original point setting. that I was trying to make here. And it does add value be to me in Africa. Women being educated is a good thing. Okay. Look, again, that's, that's great. But what I, all I'm simply trying to say here is because you're saying, oh, well, uh, I can complain about men too, blah, 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 all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. You do understand that at 31 years old, being a fairly masculine woman and having a higher, a higher education, et cetera, actually hurts you when it comes to finding a man, right? Well... I'm not going to lie to you. What I'm doing right here is I'm talking to you, somebody that I don't necessarily agree with, but I don't surround myself with people like you. So the people that I am oh, around that, I, that are more like <laughs> the people that are my type, we don't need to disagree. In fact, I don't have this experience with other men. I only have it with men that come on this podcast. So really, I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm the problem. Maybe I'm looking at you guys and think that you probably just don't understand. Okay, let me be objective about this. If you're 31 years old as a woman and you haven't been able to find a guy to take you seriously that you actually That's respect, not why admire, I'm single. hold on, stop. If you're not, if, if you're in your 30s and you haven't found a man to, that you love, admire, and respect, and it's going to take you serious and reciprocate, you failed as a female with the plethora of options that women have nowadays. Well, to be honest, I'm not going to lie. Um, for example, I'll, I'll quote this. Jordan B. Peterson said that the higher intellect or the higher IQ a woman has, the more likely it is for her to find it more difficult to find a partner yes. because of hypergamy. Name one study. So, yes. listen, I beg, cut oh, shut man. Sorry. Listen, I'm not going to lie to you. I am not an average woman. So that means that for me, it's much harder to find a man. So I'm not going to rush and be with just anybody that doesn't suit me because then we get together and it's going to be chaos. So I'm not going to be with a man that finds me masculine because he's too weak. Because a real man does not find me masculine. A real man thinks I'm actually cute. A real and they man. make me feel sick. And I actually sit down you know, with them and I'm quite It's interesting. Friendly. Anytime, uh, and I found this very interesting. Anytime a woman prefaces a statement with a real, real man, man, it's always followed with him lowering his standards or dealing with some fuckery no. for example you're saying 
a real man would be able to tolerate me, etc. Let me tell you something. I'm being very candid with you. Mm. I'm a multimillionaire. A lot of my friends are multimillionaires. Yeah. Successful, etc. We don't fucking like women like you. No offense. Yes, with all due like respect. Hold on, like hold on. Stop. Let me finish. Because we don't want to go out and conquer the world and come back and deal with females like you. Because you guys are annoying. Mm -hmm. Masculine women don't attract masculine men. Mm -hmm. If I wore heels on fucking Saturday, you would never accept me. So why is it appropriate for you to be arguing and be masculine? Because you are a masculine woman. Trust me, you can't hide that shit. You are. Fine. Okay? okay. I'm strong. You are a masculine I'm woman. I'm a strong woman. Fantastic. Which means you're masculine. Yeah, that's, that's fine. fine. But masculine men want feminine women that don't argue with them. Period. Yeah. Okay, I so, argue with you and, because and you're not my man. To me, if you and, were on, my stop, man, stop, stop, stop. Be and you're I find it interesting how every single one of my successful men, of successful friends, think the same. That's and here's the other thing. Mm -hmm. You know what? Regular guys think the same too. Okay. You know what the difference is? We don't have to tolerate masculine Listen, women once you reach a certain level. Then let me tell you something. Tell your average and successful men to leave me alone because they won't. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Tell them to leave me alone. What they don't want to commit to you. No, no, You're I 31. don't want to commit to them because as much as they love me, I don't want them because they don't suit me. That's why I said I'm going to keep this whole relationship thing quiet because I don't want to heart break anybody's heart. But I don't want to confirm anything either. Keep it very ambiguous. The man that you because want. Because there's a lot of people the man that, that don't you leave want, me alone. The man oh that you want days. doesn't want you back. That's, That's what this true. comes down to. Because That's if he did true. want you back, you would be married right That's now. That's not true. Because you and I both know at 31 years old, as a female, mm -hmm. not being married, you're an objective failure. Not really. Yes, you That's are. That's down to you. You're an objective failure. Let me tell you, and this is the reason why I also don't believe in statistics, because you are making are making a, an assumption. I'm not using a statistic hey, 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 I beg, I beg, I haven't finished. I'm not using I a haven't finished, I haven't finished. This. You're I'm, using I'm your general you. perception of what you've met of people I'm to make you. a conclusion about me when you don't know me. I'm sitting in a podcast, fresh and fit podcast, as a woman, of course I'm going to speak to you like this, because as far as I'm concerned, this is a debate. And I know how to debate very well when you I want to. Don't. Yeah, I do actually. You've used that. The only, difference, the only difference is that you guys are Which here shouting and every time I try to speak, you cut me off. That's it. Literally. Because you I don't ramble need... on. No. And you make arguments that don't Bro. have to do with the, the point Bro. and discussion. The arguments are simply parallel to show you that your logic doesn't necessarily make sense. It's not a, a, a correct you know that, you and exact science. We were talking about not... the, the term abuse being changed and then you tried to link that to racism in prison. No, I explained <laughs> to you how terms Genova, within Genova, the legal Genova, Genova, within legal Genova, terms, Genova. they change. They evolve and then you through went time. back to racism. Justice like, and the legal system, they evolve through time. What was a law 10 years ago is not the same law now. Name Everything law. evolves. Everything evolves. Name even the way, even the way people... Law. Listen, the fact that we have policies for name equality policy. and diversity tells you everything. The fact that we name, have anti... Any listen, the fact that we have anti-racist okay, tells me, you everything. Let me, what, let me back up. Guys, 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 guys. Uh, look, the reason why I said if a woman's 30 plus and doesn't have a man and she's an objective... The reason why I say this is because we know that women derive pleasure, right, from family and children. And you kind of gave yourself away a second ago. You didn't say, oh, I'm not chasing a career. I'm just chasing happiness, right? Or I'm just living my life. Yeah. Right? And working is a means to an end, right? I have to pay bills. Okay. But if you had the opportunity, actually, you actually said this earlier. That's why I love writing things down. You would prefer a man to pay a majority of the bills if you could get it, right? Uh. Now you oh. don't. So you're, you're working just as a means to an end, which is cool. I accept yeah. that. That's actually why most women work as a means to an end. But if... Women had the opportunity. They would prefer to be with a man that they love and my respect that could take care of them. But that's not easy to find. And that's a minority of men that can actually provide that. So if a minority of men can actually yeah. provide, by def, yes, that's a minority of men. Because you would have had one by now if, you, if it was a majority. Well, a minority. no, that's not why I would also just have a man by now. There's also context to behind the scenes. Okay, so, so you don't know my story. Okay, fantastic, which, which makes it you even more selective. Yeah, a little Which bit. makes the man even rarer. Which mm. proves my point and, once again. And also, and also as well. Like, yo, do you, do you, like, see, you do realize the more you talk, the more you hang yourself. <laughs> no, like, I'm not trying to hang myself. I'm just saying it's not, it's nothing. When you, you're when picky you, as hell, when, but you're not, 31 years old. Listen, you're, you, you, look, I am picky. why am I going to pick a girl that's 31 that's why argumentative and masculine? Stop, 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 stop. You stop, don't want to stop, pick stop, me. Stop. Ultimately, I'm stop. the one that makes the decision, correct? I'm not, what you, what I'm you speaking, said. I'm speaking generally here. I'm not talking about me, myself, as my I'm saying, why would a man that's attractive that's at the top of his game, get with a 31-year-old woman who's lost her value, no offense, because we value that's age okay. and youth and beauty. Mm -hmm. Why would he get with an older woman? Would he get, get with a younger woman that's more attractive and in her prime? There's many reasons. 
But to be fair Name as well, me. to be fair, when, you, when she, when you, when, you described, when you described the kind of man that you wanted, you it basically exactly described like what we the archetypal high value man. No, it doesn't. Which is what he's talking about. No, it doesn't. About. No, so, it so, doesn't. The, so the question stands: Would that guy that, is not what that I you said? described want to get? One of the with, things I said first was, I don't give a damn if the guy's got money or not, as long as he's not, not an absolute idiot and he's able to want to build himself to a point where he can help me as the partner that he's meant to be when, for example, we have children, when things happen, when when life happens. We kind of go, we kind we of go around in circles stability. a bit with it, aren't we Simple. now? I don't, want, I don't need a man to be rich. I need a man to give me stability uh, and to make okay. me wet when Good I need luck. it just by looking at me. Simple. <laughs> okay. I, he doesn't need to talk. Look, <laughs> what you're demanding, you no longer qualify for. Well, that's what you think. It's the truth, and it's been it's proven by truth. your. It's been, it's been proven literally by what's going on right now. You're single. Listen, uh, you're objectively proving no, it for me. It's okay. You, the way you're trying to present it is as if I'm single because as if my value is lower than people not picking me. That is not the truth. I am single for many reasons that I don't need to go into right here because but they're she's personal. Got options, but I've saying. got a million options. If I want to tomorrow, I will. Oh, yes. so are I'm, they real options? You don't want them, you you don't don't want want them so they're not real they're not options. options. No, they are options. No, they're, no, they're not. not. They are. Because you don't want them. You don't want they them. Are. See, this is what I'm trying to say they when are. I say y'all are retarded, bro. They are. Um, dudes that you don't like or don't respect and don't want to be with are not fucking options. No, they're guys that give you attention. No, but that's not what I said. They're guys, mean that, they're guys that give you attention them. that you don't like. Bro, there's Because if you did, you would have been with listen, them. Listen, there's men that give me attention that I don't like. There yes. are men that give me attention that think, oh, you're okay. And there are men that give me attention that think, actually, you're a great candidate. Okay, so and no. also, okay, our, that's the our privilege standards of being a woman. have gone higher. Yeah, and you don't get with them. Which means they're lacking no, in something. No, I don't get with them because I'm not going to get with every guy that is supposedly good. So I have to take my time because I'm not loose. But then you're not getting Simple. with any guy. But then no, what, how does that make but sense? Then, but no, then, but then, I've just told you. And your you, value is rapidly listen, declining in the process. I don't care. I don't care because I'm somebody that trusts a lot of people. If I trust a lot of people, I'm not going to pick the first one that comes to wow. me. How Simple, many people especially have you tried? Listen, I don't need to try people because I'm not doing that. Also, women's standards have gone really high as well. My, my, listen, that. my That's standards probably have why to be high. She's not picking. My standards have to be high. Unfortunately, for a man, because if my standards are not high, I will destroy that man. Your high standards. Your high standards. See, this is what I'm trying to say, bro. Like, you can't have these high standards no more. You're listen, 31. I can. I can. You're 31, it's, 31 I can, bro. Actually, it's so funny. You're 31. Like, yo, we need to bring one back. You can't say, say that to her. I actually no. can. It's the truth. This is what. Yo. No, hold on. Stop. 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 Shut the fuck up. Everybody, shut up for two seconds. Because this is crazy. I what if I that. said, yo, I play video games every day. I'm 300 pounds. I made $10,000 last year. I want a bad bitch. What, do you, what would you guys say to me? There's niggas that are doing that still. Okay. But, still. but hold on. She hold had on. one. Hold on. But am I delusional? Am I a dumbass for thinking that? Huh? I am. That's delusional because I don't qualify for what I want. I'm a brokey. I'm fat. I'm a loser. And here's the thing. Reality is going to let me know. Ain't no bad bitch is going to want me. Okay. I got to get out there and become that guy. To be attractive. Why is that women think, I'm not going to change. I'm going to get older. I'm going to wait at, wait it out. And I still want a top tier guy to pick me. It's not happening, bro. It's Trust not happening. Me. Well. I if mean, you're single at 31, chances are you're going to stay single past listen, 31. Listen. And this is statistically proven that's too. That's okay. No, that's Myron, okay. Myron, listen, Myron, they, they, my become, they become side chicks at 35. Yeah. Like, bro, <laughs> this is crazy. Don't worry. It's I, crazy. I, my reality, you've never met a woman like me. My reality is quite different. I've I'll met tell anyone like you. You wish, girl. All the time. You really wish. That's no, why you're really Lena Wanted really do. That's really, why I'm I, the I person. Mean, I'm the only girl that comes here as often as I do. I you are. You are. You are as crazy as you are. You are on time. Exactly. And it's not even that I'm on time. And I'll tell you something. You guys talk so much. Listen, listen, as much as you're com talking and saying all of this, you're the person that says the reason why you come here is because you, no, but you don't complain. You come, you do. You do. I you, don't complain. You do. Me and you, you can have all you do. You listen. do have. I'm not saying you have no. Listen, I'm not saying you have no positive qualities. That's, I could list them listen, right now. You, you're on you don't even know me, but I'm just know, telling okay, you. You've seen two sides. I've known you. I've known you for like a year. Okay, bro. So, this so, girl. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So. okay. Okay. Your middle name. Look, man. So, like, okay, I know your name is okay, Hannah Pearl okay, Davies. What's okay. mine? What's my surname, even? <laughs> See, that's a masculine trait: interjecting, not being agreeable. We all did it, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, including yeah, your but, best friend, Pearl. But you, you the most by far. <laughs> not really. You and this okay, other girl right here. Yo, we're going in circles, man.